I think that there's like this narrative that people like to say about you where they feel like, oh, well, Ricochet isn't good at promos. But like, I have watched so many of your promos that you post on social media and stuff. And I, I never see that. I see like someone who has who's filled with charisma, who I enjoy watching and I think is compelling on screen. So do you, would you say that you feel comfortable at this stage in your career in promos and backstage segments? Yeah, I, I think totally, especially nowadays. I'm um, obviously beforehand. I always said like Ricochet beforehand, especially before getting to the WWE, I traveled the world as like, a like an attraction mat i was always the attraction you know what i mean so i i never had any long running stories at any specific company other than like japan when i was over there but no one really can watch that stuff obviously i can't really speak japanese so i didn't get the chance to talk a lot so but so so coming up in my in, in my world in my experience like i never got to like be any long storylines with somebody in hash everything out, you know, it's like, I was always an attraction here, then I'd fly over here to be an attraction, I'd fly across seas, it'd be, you know what I mean? So I was always just that guy. Um, so obviously the, the the talking to promos, it was it was a, a, a slow burn, but now, you know, I, I, I think I totally found my pocket. I think I found who I am, I know how I speak, I know what I want to say now. So, I mean, to everybody, everybody got their opinions, but everybody don't know kind of everything that goes into it so basically i feel like nowadays i kind of like you said like I, like i said before i found my pocket and i think I, I just know my voice now so i'm just more comfortable with things like that well when I, whenever anyone tries to be like oh you know his his that's the thing the promos i always point them in the direction of one that you did that i thought was so badass where it, you only posted on social media but it was uh it was from back in May for the stuff with you and Ali that you guys were doing. And you kind you came out of a dope car and you were like walking down yeah. an alley and it was dark. And yeah. I was like, man, that's one the take. ricochet. One take, really? Well, one, well, we had to do it again because someone came walking through. <laughs> so we're like, ah, start over. So we had to like start over again. But yeah. I'm so glad you brought that up though, because I, I fully have that written on my list of things to bring up to you because I was <laughs> very much wondering why you started wearing jeans in the ring. Cause I feel like you have some of the coolest gear in all of WWE. So when you were wearing jeans, I was like, huh, was that like a, a management thing? Or was that, you know, a ricochet you know, It was thing? kind of just a statement, kind of a statement for a second. You know what I mean? Kind to, to, to just show a different side show a different avenue that's ricochet a different feeling a different i don't know emotion coming from him you know what i mean more of a, a i don't know take away the the gear take away the everything be basic but then still show that i can be spectacular for the best stories easy to find scores and comprehensive team pages plus access to every live fox sports game and exclusive bonus cameras Download the all-new Fox Sports app now.